Now problem three. Okay. A uniform wheel 600 mm. A uniform wheel 600 mm. Diameter weighing 5 Newton weighing 5, 5 kilo Newton 5 kilo Newton rests against a rigid rests against a rigid rectangular rectangular block of block of 150 mm height 150 mm height height as shown in figure as shown in figure as shown in figure just I draw the figure here This is 600. This is 150 mm. Rectangular block. Okay, uh, rectangular block of one fifty mm height, as shown in figure. Find the least pull. Find the least pull. The least pull through the center of the wheel. Through the center of the wheel. center of the wheel center of the wheel required just to turn required just to turn just to turn the wheel over corner a the wheel over corner a corner A of the block, corner A of the block, okay, this is the problem he is given, this is corner A, the, this is the center, this is the center, once again I will read the problem, a uniform wheel, a uniform wheel 600 mm diameter, its diameter is 600 mm, weighing 5 kilo Newton, its weight is 5 kilo Newton. Uh, its weight is 5 kilo Newton. Rest against a rigid rectangular block. You have a, re a rectangular block is there. The height of the rectangular block is 150 mm. Uh, it's the wheel is rests on a corner. Corner of the this rectangular block at A uh, having the height is 150 mm as shown in figure. <coughs> find the least pull. Find the least pull through the center. You want a least pull through the center. Through the center uh, of the wheel of the wheel requ required just to turn the wheel you want a least pull how much you want to pull uh, just to turn the wheel over the corner over the corner a of the block it means uh, you want to just uh, start to rotate the wheel how much the uh, uh, force is required that is his question here okay first what is the data is given here just we note down here data diameter that is d diameter equal to 600 mm okay next weight of the wheel weight of the wheel equal to 
5 kilo newton okay next height of the block height of block how much is that is 150 mm 150 mm 150 mm okay now go for solution okay just least pull just we'll consider the p let p be the let p equal to least pull least pull least pull okay uh, required just to turn the wheel just to turn the wheel okay just to turn the wheel for least pull for least pull that is for least pull least pull it must apply it normal to oe just i'll explain this one it must apply applied normal to oe to o a normal to oe here if you consider this one o this is oe right if you want to if you uh, if you if you want to pull the least to rotate the wheel at that time the least pull should be exactly normal to oe here if it means here this is least pull this is 90 degree this is 90 degree then only it is possible to uh, apply a least pull and to rotate the wheel here okay this is the condition this is the condition now i'll draw the free body diagram related to this one here uh, just i'll uh, draw here only just first i'll consider uh, this point and this point here okay i want this one here how much if you see this is 600 right this is 600 and this will be 300 this will be from here to here from here to here this is half right this is 300 mm this is 300 mm and how about this one here 150 mm already is given this is 150 mm this is 150 mm 150 mm now how much is remaining the total 600 diameter is there this half 300 and this height of the block is 150 300 plus 150 that is 450 450 uh, the remaining 600 minus 450 how much that is 150 this distance is 150 just i want to check first distance how much is there now I'll draw the same this diagram. This this here in the elaborated here. That is O A and this I'll consider as B here, this point. Okay. Just I'll go. Okay. This is A, this is O, and this is B. Okay. This is B. This is 150, right? This is 150 mm this is 150 mm and where is the load here this load is along o right this load is along o this is 90 degree right this is p this is p and where is the uh, weight of the wheel is up uh, where is the weight of the field is, uh, uh, wheel is acting here weight of the wheel is acting along o here right this along ob along ob so i write this one as weight weight of the wheel how much is there weight of the wheel is 5 kN this is 5 kN this is 5 kN and anything else how about this one what is this distance from o to a oa is it is the radius of the wheel can i write this one as 300 mm this is 300 because the total diameter is 600 so this is 300 so i'll write this one as 300 300 mm okay three and now use this one and find out first if i check this one i don't know this angle i want to find out this theta here okay uh, what is the trigonometric relation i can use here sine theta because this and this opposite is the hypotenuse therefore sine theta sine theta equal to opposite is 150 divided by hypotenuse is 300 300 therefore from this theta I am getting is that is 30 degree that is 30 degree this will be equal to 30 degree I am getting okay 
Now, which one you don't know? I don't know. The, uh, okay, this finish. Now you don't know AB. Also, you can calculate AB, right? AB equal to AB square equal to uh, AO square plus OB square. That is AB equal to square root of AB square. Sorry. AO square plus OB square. Alright. This will be equal to how much? AO square is 300 square plus OB square is 150 square. Therefore, AB equal to this I am getting AB. Therefore, AB equal to I am getting here the we will get 260 millimeter. AB equal to 260 mm. Okay. Okay. Now, I will write here AB is how much? 260. This is 260 mm I am getting here. Now, just I will erase this one. Now, where you want to take the moment? Take the moment about O. Taking the moment about the O and equating the same. Take the moment about O and equate the same. Equate the same. Equate the same. Okay. Now, about O. About O. What are the forces it will be acting here? That is 5 kilo Newton into, perp into perpendicular distance is how much? That is 260. 260. Okay. 5. This 5 into 60. Sorry. This take, uh, take the moment about A. Because A is supported here. Sorry for that. This is A is supporting here. Okay. So, and equate the same. Now, if you want uh, A here, first 5 kilo Newton. 5. Where is the perpendicular distance? This is 260. That is 260. Any other vertical components? No. That will be equal to. Now, this come to this force. This is P. What is the perpendicular distance? This is 90 degree, right? This is 90 degree. That is 300. Therefore, P equal to 5 into 260 divided by 300. This we will get the P is 4.33 kilonewton. Kilonewton. 